In this bed here, you can see some May apples. Um, wildflowers are coming up. Hostas are not open quite yet. There are some other hostas. They, some of the da uh, daffodils are done blooming. Like here you can see a whole row of daffodils that are done blooming. Um, there's daylilies mixed in here. There's a viburnum that hasn't started to bloom yet. Uh, willow shrub there. Um, it really seems like more towards the end of April than the middle of April. And that's because of the warmer weather that we had. It's not usual to have 80 degree temperatures um, in April. Walking up the hill, you can see the maple trees. The leaves are almost fully out. Here's another grouping of hot lip salvia that I did not cut back yet. I will in about a week. There's a bleeding heart and you can see here the viburnum is getting ready to bloom soon. Oh, there's a couple that are almost out. This is a, a willow shrub. Uh, it's, it's really big. The birds really like it. I do too. This area back here I have for the birds uh, with the bird feeders back here. There's work to be done back here. Um, as you can see the, the, daylo, the daffodils are uh, coming to an end here. Swinging around here. You can see there's a lot of daylilies in here. Um, also a lot of the wild violet, which I can't seem to control. Here's a dogwood tree that's open, and there's a first um, pink bloom at the top. I just noticed that. I guess I'm not going to have many flowers on this this year, but I have one. I don't know why I only have one. It's a fairly new um, newly planted. I had it last year. I have some Blue Fortune Ag Agastache in the back. There's three of them there. Um, there's a Salvia and there's a Black Adder Agastache right there. And that's another Hot Nip Salvia. Okay, I'm going to turn it off and continue with another video.